Let's bring on my guy, Chad right. Merrill. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Chad. Okay, so Chad, you came up with a great idea, and with some help from me and our two Newswatch anchors and Serena Devanzo and Tiger Demella, you did a little digging why millions of people are going to be watching the Super Bowl on Sunday, yet they're all able to do it because... There's a lot of manpower mm -hmm. behind the scenes making sure that you can see that game from start to finish without any interruptions, and that's why I wear my handy-dandy Steelers tie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, and we did a little look in, so take Check a look. it out. We told you back in the early part of January, PGM, the country's largest grid operator, was preparing for the high demand as people turn the heat on to keep warm during the Arctic blast. The electricity market issued the alert to give all utility companies, including Appalachian Power, time to prepare for an increased heating demand due to the cold weather. Well, they monitor the electricity during weather extremes and also holidays, but we've got a big holiday coming up on Sunday. Woo That's right, it's Super Bowl Sunday. We're all fired up, aren't we? Good catch, Chad. I know. We're Thank very you. fired up. So you wake up Super Bowl morning, what do you do? I have some coffee, I get excited, maybe make sure my friends and everyone's still coming over for the big game. There goes the power use during the increase. You go out to the store, get your ingredients. What are you going to have for dinner? Pizza, wings, lots of soda. You know, you got to get everything necessary, maybe a couple rolls, and then you go from there. Right, so by noon, the electricity demand plateaus, but then it really starts to spike because... You start cooking. Exactly. Now, Chad, this is obviously very important. People heat up their food with it, they get their food ready, but what else is going on with this? We have 101 million people going to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. That's 101 million microwaves, ovens, and the whole nine yards, refrigerators. That causes the electricity use to ramp up. And what time do you want to start preparing the meal? Definitely by 3, because you got to have the time to get ready for the game, which is at 6.45. Exactly. The time is 6.45 p.m. on Super Bowl Sunday, where are you? Oh, Chad, we have a rule in my house. By 6.15, the cooking is done. We are on the couch ready to watch the game. And can you believe it, folks? This television uses a less electricity than your oven, than your microwave, than your stove. So what happens to demand? It goes down. That's right. Here we are, first quarter done. Second quarter is done. Uh, feeling a little hungry now? Absolutely. you got to refresh at halftime. you got to heat up those wings. Yeah. Energy yes. use starts to go up, but hey, are we going to miss the halftime show? You can't miss Usher, no! Absolutely, everyone goes back to the television, and therefore, demand goes down a bit. Now, the outcome of the game, how close the score is, determines the demand towards the end. Are we going to have a close game, or Chad, is it going to be a blowout? No, I think it's going to be a very close game. I think it's going to be back and forth all the way till the end. So people are going to be glued to the television. Demand will go down probably at the end of this game. However, if it's a blowout for whatever reason, people go back into the kitchen and clean up, and energy use goes back up. And can you believe they've been keeping track of stats on Super Bowl Sunday since the first Super Bowl when who played who? The Green Bay Packers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. That's right. So they keep track not only Thanksgiving and Christmas when people are in their house cooking, but during weather disasters or ahead of weather disasters as well. So just remember, in order for you to be able to watch that Super Bowl game from start to finish without any interruption, there are people behind the scenes making sure that happens. Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill. k Bonnie Zombie. For Newswatch. Chad, that was really interesting there because, listen, I think a lot of people obviously think, okay, wow, it's the game. There's going to be a lot of people watching TV, so obviously it's going to be high. But yeah. what you really hit on there, it's not watching TV. No, no it's, it's the stoves and the ovens. Everyone doing that at once puts strain on the power grid, just like if we're in a bitterly cold Arctic outbreak, yep. everybody has the heat on, or if we're in a prolific heat wave, everybody has the air conditioner yeah. on. They've got to prepare behind the scenes because this is the most watched sporting event of the entire year. It's fascinating, yeah. and people will be angry if those, <laughs> if not everything's working because it means a lot to people. You know, there's so many people that watch the game that really don't even care about the game, but they love the just commercials the, and the halftime The commercials show. and being yeah. with people and eating. It's exactly. just an excuse to eat. It's an exactly. excuse to eat and have fun. And to do that, you yeah. got to cook and all that stuff. So it's really yeah. fascinating when you break it down that way. Yeah, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that, yeah. all right, if the power goes above a certain megawatts, we got to turn the backup <laughs> generator on to have all, everyone from D.C. to Chicago being able to see the game. Yeah, <laughs> great stuff there, Chad. That does it for sports. We'll be back with more right after this.